Hey guys, Cherie Glenn, Charlotte Football Insiders. This week we have Coach Billups and Coach Grice joining us. Um, and first up, we're going to talk about the Vance versus Leesville Road final. I mean, first off, shout out to uh, my fellow IMEC um, members of uh, Vance on a fantastic game against Richmond County. Um, that was huge. I mean, I, you know, I expected them to, to do well. Um, I was extremely impressed with how well they did. Um, mm -hmm. I thought, you know, and I coach, I'll you know, definitely defer to, to you for sure from a defensive standpoint. I thought offensively, man, I'm really beginning to like Austin Greer, man. I, I really, you know, to see how he's grown even just through the playoffs. I mean, he's really done a great job. And I thought offensively, he did, you know, it was good. Of course, you know, Stefan was going to do what he, you know, he does and make some plays. But I thought he did a good job getting those receivers in. I mean, you look at Makai Riley, I mean, a guy that's a senior that's been there that's you know always had had some big games got him involved got the young freshman involved uh, Kevin Conception I mean you look at the effect of events now where before they may have been a smaller kind of not having as much depth even though that that depth that they had was quality now you're starting to see to me that transition of Vance being kind of like Clemson in the college game where they've become you know that true power to where even in our conference it's truly become kind of that triumvirate with you know, Huff, Mallet Creek, and now Vance as far as that, that team that just has guys from everywhere. I mean, you see that kid that, you know, Conception, I know he had a touchdown. I think he had the pass interference in the end zone as well, I think, if I remember uh, the game. But at least, you know, some big plays he, he was able to make in that game to show you. Been running back too. Exactly. I mean, you've got guys that are popping up that are young from everywhere to let you know, hey, like, they're going to kind of be here a while. I mean, God, Coach, I'll let you talk defensively because I'm still in shock. Uh, I, it was more impressive to being there and just watching it. Um, um, Hackett, he he made it known that he's he's a force to be reckoned with as far as making adjustments. You know, you you see him go against a veteran like Richmond County um, OC, and they scored that one touchdown. And then that zone read was killing him. Then they went to that Bears front, and it just got it got ugly. It was just then, uh, yeah. And I think shout out even with that coach. You know, sorry yeah. to interrupt with it like. To me, that's been one of the biggest things I've seen him yeah. evolve, even from, I guess, the other side yeah. of the ball. Like, you know, always have the rumblings. I mean, we can keep it high here. Yeah. Like, you see the rumblings where it'd be like, oh, he's just got talent, he's yeah. this, he's yeah. that. But, like, some of the things I know I've seen, which, you know, you go into detail about some of the bigger yeah. things you've probably even seen. Like, he seemed to make adjustments in yeah. each of these key was, games where it's like, that's what the coach did to put these guys in these, yeah. in these you know, positions. Like, he, um, that adjustment, he took that zone, the zone regain out of it like it was no longer effective and um to me you know not talking no shade to rich mccann because once you if you got something that you're really good at you ride it till you stop and that zone read was what they're known for you know he he put um stefan down and start walking down there and just sit on that third tackle and he would not he would take it too long to hold it and that linebacker came down definitely saw the monster hit my power like it was just you was like good graces and then just they have guys everywhere. Um, uh, Duda Aries went down um, the corner, and they brought the number 23. I haven't seen this kid yeah, play. I'm not seen, all I guess I've seen seven games of Vance <laughs> this year. I'm not, I'm not really seeing him. And not even saying that he was terrible because this kid came wow. in and got two picks. Four and 24 yeah, are great. Like, it's not like he's bad. Yeah. Yeah. Four and 24. 23 would start on most teams yeah, in the conference. He came in there oh, yeah. and got a pick, and you was like, who is this guy? I was sitting there like, who is this guy? He balled out, and um, Stephen Singh, you know, I don't know if any ACC coaches are looking at need a defensive lineman, but that kid right there is a ball player. And I know v, the V-Tech stuff going on, but that boy is a ball player. Oh, um, definitely. You know, while I was impressed with Vance offensively, if we finally got to see me and Coach Brian was sitting there laughing, we, they stayed in that bunch trips, and they was just running – Spread routes the whole game and they killed him. It was just like spot routes and then a whole bunch of bunch routes. And you know, you saw the young guy, the young boy. I was like, man, this kid played JV the whole year. He was an eight quarter player, but he stepped up. You know, you, yeah. you know, it's just something about Richmond County and um, Charlotte freshmen, like, you know, Tad with Huff and now this kid. Yeah, for sure. You I know, mean, went off. It was very impressive. Um, shout out to um, the offensive staff over there, advanced. Um, um, it was phenomenal. It was a great game plan. They made they made some tweaks. Um, it was a close. It was, I would say, advanced capitalized on the big play. They took the big plays away from Richmond. It was 
You know, everybody, you know, we always, some people are glad to see Richmond get beat, but I'm going to tell you, it was a close game. Rants is just, they're built different. Like, they, I hope they learn a lesson. Like, you cannot intimidate that team. And I would leave Bill Road, I would be very nervous about playing because they went to a hostile environment. Like, fourth quarter, Pepper tell you, we all sat there. They turned them lights off and started running. Vance, whole team sprinted down to the end zone and started barking at Richmond County. I said, it was just nothing you do <laughs> to intimidate this team. Like, yeah, they're I mean, the first team that yeah. came out, like, even on um, Richmond County Open, like most coaches said, we ain't gonna come out after that. These boys ran all the way, while they were coming out, they ran all the way down to the end zone, did their little engine, they locked arms, walked down, looked down, and I was like, this gonna be a long game. It's, you can't intimidate that team. And it's like Hackett said on Twitter that, yeah, he can scheme all day, but it's the culture there. It's the culture. That culture that you saw on the sideline, even when they got down, them boys was, they were ready to go. They fight. So it's, that's a dangerous team. I would not want to play. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't so find it. I thought I brought it here today. My, my IMAC flag, I, I thought I had it. But, <laughs> hey, hey, again, this is, I've got to get this out. Though. This is the point that has been made. And, I, you know, I always tell these great teams in other areas, like, you look at the Richmond, you know, you look at where they, you know, their, their road. I mean, they had Huff. They played a Myers Park team. You know, mm -hmm. now they came back, Van, you know, with Vance. I mean, you played two of the three, you know, IMAC teams. And people have to understand how tough it is in the conference. And, yeah. and, you know, I even saw, I think, McFadden said, you know, where he felt that Myers, the Myers Park game was the game they got up for. Yeah. And then they really didn't have anything left. And, and mm -hmm. I think people have got to realize, like, how many big games or, you know, whatever that Vance has played in this year. Like, it seems like every game has been the big game. I mean, you look at... The, you know, of course, the two other games against Huff and Mallet Creek. Look at the playoff game against Mallet Creek. The Mooresville game was at UNCC. Yeah. Then you start to go to the playoffs. First round's at Butler. A, you know, Blue Blood, you know, Charlotte perennial team that's always around, you know, at least in name. You look at all these big games that Vance has played in, and then now we look at it and see that, you know, Richmond County goes through a couple games, and all of a sudden it's like, it seems like the gas isn't in the tank like it was. And it's just... That begins to show it. I'm going to wave that conference flag around and tell people how battle-tested teams come out of our conference with because it's always a, well, what, what does it really mean? I think you're seeing exactly what it means. A team that's battle-tested, they're tough, and they continue to answer the bell after every single round, and we're seeing that even more this week. You, you, and I'll say one more thing. Even, you know, they what they did to that talent in Mallet Creek King, that's how you knew they were ready. Like, Mallet Creek been putting up 40, 50 on people all year. I think both times they play, I think the most was 17. They put up that first time, that first meet, and they, it was tough in that playoff game, that second round game. So Vance just get out the mud, you know, and literally. It's like that's that team right there, they're dangerous. They, you know, we all sit here and scream about culture and loving one another. That's all you see. They don't get down on each other. I remember when Greer even had that tough game. Game against Mount Crew, there was nobody yelling at him. They were like, "Come on, we got you, bro." And I think that's, a, but that's an underrated point, though. You know, you <laughs> see the head coach change and maybe the offensive culture shift. I, yeah. I don't know. You know, all of us as coaches in the room, you know, we see, you know, even last year with the D one quarterback, you know, we're starting to see in key games. I think you had, you know, Austin, even though he's struggling, very similar to how the quarterback last year would in certain yeah. moments. But in key moments, you're seeing a difference. I think you're seeing, you know, the the swing screen for the touchdown. Yeah. You're seeing these big games, thirteen for. 18, I think, mm -hmm. very high percentage, you know, a lot of big plays, a lot of runs. I mean, yep. it, it seems like maybe the, the, the perception or maybe the culture of the head coach yeah, is coach. a little different, right? And it's, it's creating these moments yeah. where, the, where the quarterback is yeah. stepping up, even after tough situations where I don't think we've seen that in the past. Yeah. A.B.'s a fantastic coach, one of the, you know, the yeah. best in this area, a legend in this guy. area. But that is one thing I think we're seeing is a difference with this yeah. Vance team. And you, A.B. is a legend, but I'll tell you what, the head coach over there at that boy, he's a great ball coach because you'll see that culture. You see it. And I'm not saying what it was, but I'm, you'll see it with Hackett and you see it with him. Them two right there, they're forming that. You don't see nobody down. You don't see nobody yelling. Them kids, they just own them kids. I remember, like, even going to halftime, you know, going to the second quarter, he's sitting there. I think you got a great picture. He was sitting there just coaching great. Yeah, right, coming right out of yeah. halftime. And he was just telling me, you know, hey, I got faith. You my guy. You go out there and do it. And you, you see it. This team, they like power. I wish you had got picked. He can't. They just, it was thirty-one to seven. Mm -hmm. They just scored. He said we're not done yet. He said they were gonna beat us by twenty-one. 
He said, "Let's go out there and get another touchdown." I'll right by him when he said, I said like, that. I said, "You don't, you don't get that. You don't get that." And it's, it so was, let's let's take a look at their opponent, Leesville Road, this week. Oh, um, you know, taking a look at Leesville Road, they're mainly run first team. They have some ability to throw the football a little bit. Uh, do they have a chance at, at you know pulling a well? I guess what would be considered an upset now. I think the thing we're gonna to have to see there is if they match the physicality. Yeah. I mean, you look at you know the bigger thing. We all you know no secrets that we're not as you know as well versed on them as we are Vance. The, the couple things that we anytime I see someone match up against a familiar team, especially one like Vance, you know, it's physicality and speed. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think very early if we can see that they you know they can match those two things. That will give us an indication as to how the game will go. I'm a little worried because of the way Vance did Richmond. Um, if we're going to see anything that can come close to it, you know, especially on a you know, on a fast. I think what Keenan now is turf now, so we don't have to worry about the mud or any issues that uh, that Duke had. I think it's turf now, right? I think After this past year, still grass. Oh, really? Yeah. I think. Well, either way, <laughs> um, Be better than Vance Oldfield right now. Right? So, I don't. You know, I'm. You know, I try to stay neutral all the time, but you don't see him stop um, air raid. You don't see him stop RPO. You don't see him stop three hot. Actually, four because Butler offense was pretty. Once it started getting going, it was going. They don't stop Butler, <laughs> Mount Creek, West Forsyth was talented too. Yeah, and in a Richmond County, they're not they're not scared. So Le Leesville Road, like I said, they don't have to come in there. They don't have to basically knock these dudes teeth out of their mouth. Yeah. And they they love run teams. They love it yeah. because that's what everybody think they cannot stop the run. And he stopped one of the most the best running quarterback in the state of North Carolina. I, I'd say the best. Yeah, <laughs> the best. Well, we talked about it at the game, Coach Richmond. Actually, started out trying to pound it inside because mm -hmm. you look at Richmond, they got a big line. Vance doesn't look that big in yeah. the middle. But what they didn't realize was how quick off the ball yeah. Vance is. 25. Yeah. That nose yeah. tap. Yeah. Yeah. He don't even look like a nose tap. He looked like a well, he Apparently, he used to play running back before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I was talking about. I used to play running back. But they, but, yeah. um, mm -hmm. Like I said, the most impressive thing, I know we all talk about Powell Echoes, um, Stefan, um, Lowry. Um, that defensive line is legit. Like, oh, yeah. You don't see, and I say this all the time, you don't see nobody be able to go for more. A five to a three to a one, yeah. like they shifting. It's like mm. wow. And then, like I said, he then put that one at that zero, and he had a straight up nose. And then you were walking your your linebacker, your star linebacker down at that there, um, basically playing bare front, just walking and just shifting, just just staying them gap. They play great gap deep. It's a great gap defense, and Powell Echoes is the leader of that defense, and he is a man child. And then you got seven back there. The best thing I had to do was putting seven in safety. I think Lowry is like, hey, I'm I know I can play set, um, safety at the next level. He, he bought one of the best corners and the best safeties in the state of North Carolina. And that's saying a lot about that kid. And he's just a dog. And they got all dogs back there. So y'all tell me, if you're Leesville Road, how do you attack that fence defense? I think offensively, the biggest thing I would have to do is spread them out. Um, you know, it's a situation where, hey, if they're going to blitz, that's fine. You know, we'll, we'll take our one-on-one -on -one opportunities. And I know for us, like, you know, of course we got killed. You know, one of the big things that helped us, we were able to drop the ball down and get in the red zone twice in the, you know, in the first half. Mm -hmm. And one of the bigger things that helped us was kind of going, you know, going five wide mm -hmm. and trying to take advantage or isolate different guys one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. Um, you know, that's, it's tough. It's easier, you know, it's easier to say that than to go out and do it. But really, you know, try and get the quick passing game going, which I think leaves a road by virtue of them being more run first, it's probably better at the quick passing game than you know truly taking shots downfield. Mm -hmm. Just throwing the ball deep is not going to work yeah, on this on this team. Yeah, that deep ball, uh, um, tunnel screens, you know, screen, screen them. You know, when you got aggressive defense, they start coming to that field a lot. Mm -hmm. Does it running back screen? It, it'll it'll be open. Um, not saying that it will be open against them, but you know that's what you run when you got. Uh, D line, you got to make them vulnerable and stuff like that. You can't run no counter at that thing because they play them gaps like mm -hmm. they, they like out in zone. <laughs> it's, it's running the ball, Any, back, anything it's tough. that's gonna take a long time to yeah, develop. Like, yeah, like yeah, it's not yeah. gonna happen. You, can't even, you know, like you just got you got to get creative. You know, I think you got to do some of this stuff on. You got to do some of that flare passing. Mm -hmm. You got to make them guys come show you that they'll come down 
and hit you, you know, but <laughs> they will. No, I know. Yeah, I'm, you know, <laughs> no, I know what you're saying. I mean, and really, if you're gonna throw it, you gotta isolate the linebackers. Yeah. I, mm. it, you really, you're not gonna find but, much work against. And the only team. person who really did good at that when was at Mount Creek game. You know, when they made yeah. they made Power and Stephon come out there. What Stephon? He could cover. Power, no, they can. Yeah, yeah, now, if, you know, and Power is step to step. No, but I'm just saying that's one of the best things. You know, it take like I said. Come out in that tight bunch, like I told Pitt. Come out there in that tight bunch, and if they gonna play man against it, rub around with the death, and make them come out of. It. But they're they really don't have no weaknesses, and you really you really don't say that a lot about a high school defense, you know. And yeah, right. It's one of the best defense I've seen in a long time. You know, I got we played great defense at West Shaw back when I played. But yeah, let me tell you something. Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you something, that, that one got mine beat. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, yeah, it's definitely one. I mean, honestly, like, where do we rank? I mean, Power Echoes has got to be one of the best linebackers in this area in a long Gosh, time. Wow. And I think the bigger piece about it is the bigger the game, the bigger <laughs> yeah, he you know, it goes. I mean, you talk, what was it, 17, uh, 17 uh, tackles a game? Yeah. I mean, you see yeah. something like that, whereas, you know, and he's always around, but, you know, even talking with some of the, you know, the Richmond County guys, I mean, they more were like, okay, well, you know, five is the one we really, you know, kind of yeah. have to pay attention. To do it, not saying one they were like, oh, yeah. one's not good, mm -hmm. but I, you know, I always, you know, I kind of made that reminder of like, no, one is gonna make sure he shows up <laughs> in this key game. And like, I mean, you look at the Wake Forest game last year, I mean, he was everywhere, yes, everywhere. Yes. Um, so I just, I mean, that's just one of those just situations where Lee's all road, you gotta come out early, strike first. I mean, try to attack those yeah. linebackers, and yeah. I, you know, we're nobody's giving them a shot, but yeah. I mean, that's that's really what you've got to do early to give yourself a you chance, and no weakness because yeah. Sutton's good too. You so yeah, the weak side back. Yeah, he's not he's not a slouch at all. I think, I think he's very underrated. Oh yeah, no, he's very he, underrated. He's underrated in that. Yeah. No, he's a D1 yeah. linebacker. I mean, yeah. he's, he's going to a D1 yeah, school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're right. <laughs> well, underrated like, from the city. No, I, no, yeah. I, no, I'm saying, no yeah. I agree. I'm saying, you know, he, he is, but that's the thing people forget. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you got, you got they, they got that other big D in too, just like saying, like, that dude was like six, six. I'm like, yeah. who oh, this monster? Uh, Omar. Yeah. Like, yeah. 14. <laughs> I, I didn't forget No, I just saw him. Like, being on the field with them kids and doesn't look at him, you like, these are some lanky kids. Them kids are, they're dynamic. It's so, it's no slight to Leesville Road if you're watching. You know, I think, you know, doing some research on them, they get, they're very big. Yeah. I think they're bigger on the lines, you know, than Vance. But, you know, I had a big line when I was at Harding, and speed killed us. Yeah. You know, yeah. trying to work outside of that little two-yard box is, is yeah. tough. So No, and it's not a slight. I'll make sure to also say, because I do slight people, and I'm very intentional about it. It's not a slight. I think the the biggest thing it is, when you look at Lisa Road's schedule, they've seen nothing like this team. Yeah. They're not close. I don't think they've seen anywhere within four touchdowns of anything. So like their closest team. games, um, Cardinal, Gibbons. Cardinal Gibbons, they beat them 30-24. to 24. Yeah. And we know Gibbons got blown out by Richmond. Yeah, so he's in so, the transitive property of algebra, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and even even that. Um, now they played better throughout the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. even I really, even really Wake Forest so. when they was at full strength, you know, Gibbons beat them, and then the next week Gibbons got beat by this Leesville Road. So yeah, that's yeah. why you say, hey, you know, hey, everybody, I'm not taking slight that they won that game, Leesville Road, but you know, Wake Forest they had a quarterback. And right. that's that's a that's big a piece. Yeah, that's, that's a, a big fact. piece. Yeah, and their just, offense is necessary. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I just think. Like I say, this is a dang Vance is dangerous. I don't think nobody, you know, nobody wanna play with them kids right now. That was the that was the best matchup. They gonna play the two teams that I thought match up with them best. Mm -hmm. And that was Richmond, Mallory Creek. Of course we would have loved to see them against Mars Park. I think that would have been a good one too. But yeah. Yeah. I just think, you know, it's too bad that all the talent that was on one side of the bracket. But now, you know, it, that's the one thing Leesville Road is gonna struggle with because they haven't played and that's no slight. Yeah, we talk about that. That's kind of like a shock to the system. Yeah. When you see, you know, that big step up, you know, on both sides of the ball. So I, mean, I think it was for Richmond. I mean, you could argue that with the physicality, and you know, yeah. in the beginning it was, you know, it was okay, but then after a while, it's like, oh, we got to do this for four quarters. Like <laughs> you, saw, you saw that, you know, you saw that when they played Huff. You know, it was yeah. like Huff came out there and smacked him in the mouth, and that's why I come on telling, you know, 
No slight to them beat him. I think Storm had played. We might be sitting here talking about a different narrative, you know. Yeah, no, and that's you know you said that's a different angle, but I mean again, that's why I wave my conference flag with that. It's such a difference oh. of you know, but it's such a difference of playing all these teams and even looking you know comparing it to Charlotte. I mean, you get a team like Huff that you know is tough defensively, great you know in the secondary normally, and can kind of spread you out and have the speed. Then you get a Myers Park, which you know, it's pretty big, but you've got fantastic receivers that are just, you know, upper echelon yeah. quarterback that can throw it, you know, experienced quarterback that can do whatever. You got Vance, you got a team that's just so physical. It's just so many different, you know, varieties of, of yeah. types of teams that you get to where it cannot be up for each one of these games yeah. every single week. And, and, you know, me coming from the IMAC, you know, coach there, when I was at Hopewell against you, he's, he's absolutely right. That's why I tell everybody, you can't get butt hurt about the I met conference. I said, them boys, it's, it's tough. You know, my conference, you know, AK ran through it and then we had to deal with Olympic, but, you know, he's right. You know, I met's tough. But you got, like, every conference now, got, you know, Mars Park, Butler, you got Hickory Ridge, you know, they're coming. And, you know, Porter Ridge had a down year, but they still went to the playoff. So, you know, I get what everybody was saying tomorrow in the um, sub summer and wet, wet weather is. We talking about Sackett or yeah. you know, them? Or, yeah, uh, not my company. My company, we were, it was, oh, down. Yeah. It was yeah. down. It was down. No, and I mean, it's not saying it like that. It's just the, the point is just. Because we was people down. People got to understand it's tough. My company was yeah. down because problems Of down. course, of course. That's <laughs> but, uh, you know, I saw, I mean, it, you know, <laughs> salute to Richmond County. I mean, they had a fantastic season. Oh, yeah. And I think and they, Brian, you know, and I, we really love all those guys, man. Yeah. Camp, Till, like. No, nah, but you know, I'll say that one thing about Coach Till and that whole staff. Even though they were down in the four quarter bid. They did not stop coaching. You saw him yeah. over there. You saw him over there encouraging him. Like oh, it, professional group it was, of guys. It was yeah, me. Sure. I'll be over there with my headset. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. On that note, Saturday, 3 o'clock p.m. at Chapel Hill. That's where this game will go down. All, All right, right guys. Appreciate it.